hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another dlss3 video uh, so first of all uh, let me tell you this mod is going to be only for the rtx series card users so if you are in gtx series don't go in the comment section and say that will it work on gtx or amd card no it's not so you need to wait uh, until something for amd and gtx users releases uh, and i think it will release very soon okay one important step uh, before testing the mod uh, you guys will need to go to the games option then set the game into the borderless mode vsync preferably off but if you face crashing issue you can try vsync turning on and off <clears throat> then you need to go to the graphic setting and this is the most important one uh, you need to turn the motion blur to on and up sample plus fsr or any kind of upscaler to off this game only has the fsr so yeah you need to turn the fsr off and motion blur to on if you want to make the mod work so yeah for now uh, only the dlss users can use it uh, so yeah uh, first you can see two zips here um, sc valhalla v1 and v2 dlss3 v1 v2 so for v1 is the older version it worked for some users but uh, didn't work for some so yeah now there is the v2 version but also there is a issue with v2 like uh, for the old users who were able to use the v1 they now can't use the v2 so yeah v2 is not working for those old users so yeah do try which one works for you uh, there is no issue if you even try v1 first or v2 first but uh, just try uh, maybe some uh, version will work on you so yeah we're gonna extract this zip to the desktop now we're gonna copy everything now we're gonna go to the installation directory of uh, ac valhalla here now we're gonna paste everything uh, it is telling me to replace because i have already pasted now after pasting uh, you will see the mods folder uh, you can open it this is not necessary this is just an additional step you can do some tweaks before starting the game but this is not necess necessary step uh, so you can open the acv upscaler.ini uh, with the notepad and you can see some text here now what i want to talk about this text file is uh, if you want some dlss presets like the preset b c d you know dlss users will uh, know this they have used if you have used the dlss tweaked uh, uh, dlss tweaker or dlss uh, what do you say custom version you will know uh, these presets so yeah you can change these presets by one two three four five and you use your preset like type your preset uh, here and also if you want uh, the game to start with the frame generation off then you can remove this true and write false here but if you want the game to start with the frame generation you can write true here like for troubleshooting and stuff and you can also uh, do some mm, motion blur and ta stuff enable well. but i will show them in game uh, so yeah let's uh, jump into the game now all right uh, let the game load in the background now we're gonna talk about this ui uh, if you press the home button uh, you will see this kind of ui on a screen let me hide the nvidia overlay sorry msi after one overlay uh, now if you don't have uh, the numpad on your keyboard you can use control then windows plus o to open this kind of on screen keyboard uh, now in this on screen keyboard uh, if you press this uh, what do you say mm slash bar the dlss upscaler will <clears throat> get turned on and off like this is the toggle key like you can see here in the ui if you if i press this the uh, upscaler will get turned on or off and if i press this key the frame generation will get turned on or off uh, you can't see a change in the frame rate because i'm not in game but yeah soon when i get in game uh, i will show you everything So yeah let's jump back into the gameplay all right so unfortunately for some reason my game is crashing so that's why i am not able to see you my gameplay but uh, one of my fellow discord members has successfully able to use this mod uh, so yeah it is his gameplay but uh, with my voiceover uh, he is now playing with uh, these settings uh, as you can see on your screen with uh, the frame generation generation is currently being turned off uh, so yeah maybe i'll uh, show his gameplay a few seconds without the frame generation and now i'll tell you guys when the frame generation is turning on so yeah now you see the frame generation is turned off right okay now he is activating he's going to activate it in three two one so as you can see 
the previous frame rate was around 40 fps 40 to 45 and now as soon as he activated it uh, the frame rate has gone to 70 72 73 yeah uh, sometimes it is dropping a little bit below because uh, he is using uh, 3050 uh, still working like from 40 fps to uh, 60 and 70 sometimes you can see it's also hitting sometimes 80 and 90 so yeah this will be it uh, if this video helps you you can subscribe to the channel uh, comment down below if you are facing any kind of issue and uh, yeah also join the discord for uh, discussing more uh, about ne next upcoming mods and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers no, it's the fumes in the body.